Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to look what Xcode looks like. So last in my last uh, video, I showed you that the basic tools would be Xcode, Interface Builder, iPhone Simulator, and and uh, instruments. So today I am going to show you what Xcode. In this video, I'm going to show you what Xcode looks like. So when you start up Xcode the first time, uh, once you install the SDK from uh, from Apple's website and um, launch Xcode it the icon looks like this here on the left side and um, uh, when you open Xcode it will show you this welcome screen welcome to Xcode you can check this show this window when Xcode launches or not on the right side it shows all the recent projects we don't have any projects right now so it's empty when we start creating more and more projects this um, this side shows all the recent projects that you worked on on the left side it shows you what version you're using I'm using version 4.0 this which is the latest version right now there are um, there is a new SDK coming out pretty soon it's in beta version right now but uh, this is version 4.0 uh, you can create a new Xcode project just by clicking here you can connect to a repository we want to look at that in the later videos uh, you can learn more about use how to use Xcode here uh, it goes to documentation for Xcode and you can go to developer portal where we went in the last video so there are some important links here I will uncheck this so it doesn't show up every time uh, and I will click on a new project and we can go through each and everything uh, so when I click on a new project it will show me this screen uh, this screen shows uh, some frameworks that Apple has already returned for you so you can actually make your own um, make your own app um, make select what application you want to start up from you can uh, start up from any one of them uh, right away but uh, let's go through each one of them and see what they are so first one is navigation based application it is more uh, suited for applications where you have navigation so you're going from one screen to another there's a navigation bar on top you can think of it more like uh, let's say a call uh, for the phone app that is already that already comes with iPhone so you can go from one screen to another you can look at all the different details that contacts you have on your phone if you click on any one of them it goes to the more detailed description which shows the name the phone number text message Facebook and all those things and you can come back so this navigation controller helps you navigate from one screen to another screen next one is OpenGL ES application this is used for making uh, games so using OpenGL if you have experience with OpenGL we might touch a little bit in later videos on OpenGL and how to make it uh, so that's OpenGL split view based application so if you if you see if I select any one of the application it gives me a little description of what this application is this split view based application is only for iPad uh, if you know iPhone and iPad they use the same Xcode same programming everything is same the only difference is iPad has bigger screen than iPhone uh, all the iPhone applications run on iPad but iPad application don't run on iPhone iPad has two extra view controllers uh, I'll tell you more what about what view controllers are later but uh, two view controllers one is this uh, split view based app uh, split, split view controller and uh, pop overview controller we'll look at them in the later videos uh, the next one is tab application uh, tab bar application what it does is it gives you a tab bar at the boat bottom with two tabs and uh, two view controllers what it lets you do is if you, again the phone application has uh, five different tabs at the bottom if you look on your phone you'll see that it has favorites recents contacts keypad and voicemail so this is more like a tab bar application where there is a tab bar at the bottom and and <coughs> different tabs which you can navigate through uh, and the next one is utility application this is more like a weather app or uh, the stocks app where you see a view in front and when you click the i button at the bottom it uh, flips over to show the back view so this actually creates that uh, at that and gives you the starting point view based application is the second to basic application what does what this does is it gives you an application with a view controller we look at what view controller is later but uh, let's see the last one window based application window based application is the simplest application that can be there it just has a window so let me tell you about windows and view controllers so what happens is when you start a project every app has a window uh, 
every app has only uh, has has a window and this window actually stays at the bottom of the app and you can have multiple view controllers on top you can think of it as uh, let's say you have a you have you have your TV which is a window and you can keep on changing the channels which are different view controllers so view controllers can come and go on top of window you can switch them across uh, which is a good layout you keep things separate using view controllers you can put suppose you are making a making an application which lets you share things on on um, on social networking so like say facebook and twitter so you can have one view controller which is just for facebook one view controller which is just for twitter one for flickr one for so you can separate things around but window remains at the bottom all the time so that's 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 window based application so this one will give you a simplest application just a window no nothing on top of it just the simple just one so if you see on the left side we have ios and mac os applications we will not be working on mac os applications in, th in this set of tutorials um, we will just look at iphone tutorials there's also framework and library you can actually take people's frameworks and libraries and add it over here there's a coco touch static library over here which comes by default and other there's an empty project here so we don't have anything yet installed but we will be adding more and more things as and when we go ahead so let's look at these applications let's look at a window based application first uh, to learn more about what other things are there in Xcode so when I do next it gives me an option to enter the name of the application this will be say let's say hello world application so if I create a hello world application it also as a company identifier this should be unique bundle identifier below which uh, the company identifier creates a bundle identifier which takes the company identifier and the name of the project so this should be unique for every single application there can't be two different applications with the same bundle identifier apple will not let you upload any applications with the same bundle identifier so i normally keep it as com.vivianarana and then the name of the application at the end of it you can select what you're making for iphone ipad or universal we'll look at what universal is later universal is kind of the application can work on both iphone and ipad so let's focus on iphone right now and use core data and include in its test we're gonna uncheck these first we'll look at this in later chapters what core data is what unit tests are so let's go ahead with just making the application then it will ask you where do you want to save it see on desktop i'll create a um, folder called as youtube projects and inside that i can save it there's also at the bottom create local git repository if you're familiar with git it also xcode lets you communicate via git and you can do source control using git um, we will look at this in the later when uh, later videos when we look at repositories so let me say go ahead and create and it creates a basic application layout just a skeleton of the application it creates the application on the top let's start from the top